Man, this is just too easy. Wait, no. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> oh man. Hi guys, this is Tabio Sobi, and today, today we're tackling the greatest Lava Sioth, at least when it comes to getting face stones and jewels, talking about the special tempered Lava Sioth from the new event quest, the name's Lava Sioth. So, like the greatest Jagras before it, this particular Lava Sioth is huge and also likes to spray out special materials on the field. Pick these materials up and you'll end up with various face stones that vary in rarity. You get either mysterious face stones, glowing face stones, worn face stones, or warp face stones. You especially want to get the latter two, as they are most likely to give you rare decorations. Personally, I find this monster easier than the greatest Jagras. For starters, you don't really need to do any special prep to fight it, other than bring a cold drink, essentially. You don't need earplugs and you don't need tremor resist, so you can pretty much bring your set of choice. These include heavy hitting sets with high attack, 100% affinity and critical boost, or any quirky mixed armor set that you like. You also don't have to worry as much about being wombo comboed from a roar or tremor. Instead, your main concern is avoiding his lava splash and spit attacks. The bad news is that this has great range and can hit like a truck. A truck on fire! I've actually been one shot a couple of times, not just as a gunner, but as a blade master, so you really want to pay attention to it. The good news is that it's pretty easy to avoid as long as you've got the requisite room or space fail to account for something like a wall or a barrier and, well, this is what happens. <laughs> Basically, as long as you don't just pick your nose and lollygag around in front of his face and make sure you pay attention to your surroundings, then you should be fine. Anyway, you can either start out at the southern camp and take the shortcut at the back to the lava area or start from the western camp and just head straight south. Eventually, you will run into the greatest Lapsioth, which is the nickname I am giving it for simplicity's sake. The monster will basically be in this area, with several large lava holes in the ground, where Lapsioth likes to burrow under and swim from time to time. Now, one of the things I like about this fight is how it makes one of the most annoying mechanics for Lapsioth something that you actually look forward to. I used to hate it when this monster starts to go down periscope and dig around like one of the mole people. Now I welcome it with open arms, because this is when it starts raining face stone on the field. Just watch out for a couple of god bugs in the field that give you false hope. It's like picking a coin and realizing it's a token from the Chuck E. Cheese in your town that went out of business. As far as strategy, I've had hunts where Lava Sioth was put to sleep here because you don't have to worry about a Gastodon waking it up. If you do put it to sleep, well, just lay your mega barrel bombs, plant your wyvern blast mines if applicable, and then set them off with something like a greatsword true charge, a wyvern fire, or even a wyvern snipe shot. Eventually, Lava Sioth will go to the next map. This should be the area where it makes its last stand before it limps off into the lava field sunset. Just be wary of trouble spots where you can get boxed in, like walls and ledges. Once it starts limping, you can trap and trank it if you want to finish more quickly. One of the things that makes Lava Sioth annoying is when its skin is hardened. This is particularly a pain for Blade Masters because it can make melee weapons bounce. You can either use the Mind's Eye skill to prevent bounce or take advantage of moves that give certain weapons natural Mind's Eye. Just keep in mind that this usually chews through your weapon sharpness a lot more rapidly. One more thing you can do is to pick up one of the many torch pods that are lying around. By shooting this at Lava Sioth's skin, you can start softening his body parts. Otherwise, you can wait for its skin to turn molten. This usually happens after it swims in the lava, or you can bring a fire weapon to speed up the process. Otherwise, you can use a bow gun or a bow so you don't have to worry about balancing altogether. For quality of life and added survivability, I recommend bringing a fire mantle and a temporal mantle. As long as your team is on the ball, Lava Sioth should be limping or close to limping by the time both mantles run out. As far as weapons go, you can honestly bring whichever one you're comfortable with. Kiar water weapons that have critical element are nice to use, for example. 
In my case, I have a Kiara water glaive that I use with a full behemoth dragon set. The critical element from the weapon synergizes well with the armor's various critical bonuses, as well as its airborne, elemental airborne, and master's touch skills. And while I usually like to attack with the glaive from the ground, the aerial attacks are a nice option to have when Lava Sioth is hardened, because they have natural mind's eye. Just note that water weapons can make its exterior go harder or faster. Well, that kind of sounded wrong. Probably not the best choice of words, but you know what I mean. As far as what bug to use, well, the monster has a 3-star weakness to poison, 2-star weakness to paralysis, and 1-star weakness to blast. The second weapon I use is a rapid-fire water bow gun. I don't have the Kiara Blitz Decay, unfortunately, but the Lunostra Empress Shell Sticks remains an excellent option due to its built-in spare shot. It can also fire sleep ammo, which helps whittle down Lavasio's health faster if everyone takes part in the sleep bombing. Sleep can be tricky to pull off with randoms, however, as I've seen people hit the monster while it was sleeping, even after I use a shout-out warning everyone that I'm using sleep ammo. Like the bow, you will need to use the light bow against mobility to stay alive, as you can get one shot or brought down to a sliver of health pretty easily. My third weapon is actually my favorite to use, which is the upgraded Magda Gemitus. Not only do I get my fastest times with this guy against Lavasioth, I have yet to cart with this weapon thanks to its ability to equip a shield, which makes tanking the monster incredibly easy. Ideally, I open up with poison, then switch to sleep, then set bombs. If I end up being tasked with setting off the bombs, I then use either Wyvern Fire or Wyvern Snipe. After that, I switch to Paralysis Ammo, then Pepper the Head with Sticky Ammo. Once the monster is KO'd, I switch to Cluster if there are no Blade Masters around, or aim at a spot that won't hit them if melee weapon users are around. I've also been able to make the monster sleep twice, and also paralyze it twice with this weapon before it dies. Anyway, those are my quick tips for the special Lava Sioth event quest. What weapons and armor set do you use? As always, please feel free to leave any thoughts or questions you may have in the comment section. Once again, this is Tabi Asobi, and thank you for watching.